Adenos be thanked. You are finally here. We thought you would not show up again. What? How are you already here? You went through the portal and we followed you. It did not take long before we arrived here. However, you were not there. We have been here for several days. Several days? How can that be? After we could not find you anywhere, Nefarious sought to ascertain what might have gone wrong. He seemed to be thoroughly baffled until now. Well, now you are here and can begin your work. What happened in the meantime? We have collected many new insights. The earthquakes do indeed appear to be stronger here. We are not very far from their center now. The builders of these old structures erected a city here in their day. So much we can already say. However, for some reason their culture came to an end. But so far, we can only speculate as to why. What about Raven? In his letter, Raven spoke of a temple and that he was trying to get inside. We are unanimously of the opinion that it is a temple of Adonos that Raven seeks to desecrate. The earthquakes are obviously the result of unholy incantations, which keep colliding with a powerful spell. The gates of the temple are magically sealed, and this is the very magic that makes the stone sentinels arise. The temple is defending itself. We must stop Raven before he can penetrate into the Holy of Holies. What does Raven want in the temple? We only know that it has to do with a powerful artifact that is somehow connected to Adonos and Beliar. We can certainly assume that he is not up to anything good. Raven is only a former ore baron, not a magician. How can he carry out an invocation like that? Perhaps it is not he himself, but rather a renegade magician in his pay. One way or another, we must avert the evil. What happens next? We shall remain here and continue studying the ancient culture. The old scripts of the builders conceal a great many secrets which we must reveal if we want to understand what happened here back then. Meanwhile, you must do a few things for us. Have you found a trace of the missing people? Only yesterday we found the body of a fisherman. He was lying under one of the ruins to the east. It looks as though the fisherman was from Corinus. You should look into this. What should I do? You must find Raven and prevent him from desecrating the Temple of Adonos. You mean I should kill him? If that is the only way to stop him, then in Adonos' name, yes. On your way, collect all the ancient relics and inscriptions of the builders you can find and bring them to us. We must know more about these people and their demise. Only when we see through Raven's plans can we thwart them. Furthermore, you must find a way to free the slaves. Is that all? I could do that left-handed. I know that it is much to ask. Regard it as a chance to regain my trust. I'll get going then. One more thing. Raven has gathered a large number of bandits about him. In your absence, we have fetched another member of the Ring of Water here. We sent him into the swamp. He did not come back. We suspect that the bandits attack everyone who does not look as they do. So, acquire some of the bandits' armor. That is the only way you'll get close to them without being attacked right away. Wait a minute. What poor swine did you send into the swamp? His name was Lance. I am afraid he did not get very far. Where will I find bandit armor that fits me? There seems to be a camp of pirates to the west. As far as we know, they're in contact with the bandits. I do not think that they will attack you if you approach them. Perhaps you can find some help with them. May Adonos protect you. Nice to see you. We feared the worst. It wasn't all that bad. How's it going? This is a very dangerous region here. Some of the animals in the area have never been seen by anyone before us. Close by, there is a large swamp that managed to grow for several hundred years without anyone noticing. Not a day goes by that we aren't attacked by beasts from the swamp. 
I advise you to be careful if you go for a stroll here. Is there anything new about the Stone Sentinels? We have already managed to eliminate some of them. They stand there, paralyzed like pillars of salt, and don't budge. But appearances deceive. If you get too close, they'll attack you. There's no doubt that the source of their power can be found here somewhere. Let's deal. Still got it. Hey. Did you expect this here? Not at all. I'm awestruck at how large the city must have been. Most of the buildings were buried under stone and earth, but the ruins that have survived the ages are spread all over the land. There must have been thousands living here. What will I find out there? In the east, there's a large fortress in a gigantic swamp. As far as we can judge from here, the bandits have taken refuge there. If I were you, I wouldn't go down there. They've set up many outposts and guards. You'd better avoid the swamp until you have more experience, or find a way to go around the bandits. In the west, we have discovered some pirates. I'm not sure, but I believe they have also discovered us. They don't seem too perturbed by our presence, though. Tell me more about the area. What do you want to know? What is in the north? If the records of the builders are believed, then you'll find a large valley encircled by cliffs. Drought and desert sand dominate the landscape there. What will I find if I go to the south? The land in the south is very rugged. You'll find serpentine paths, waterfalls, and ruins carved out of the rock there. What was in the east again? The Great Swamp. The area is very dangerous. Not only are the bandits lurking there, but also extremely dangerous animals. You should be careful. Were you ever in the west? No, but the coast must be there somewhere. That's probably where the pirates have their camp. To the east, not far from here, we found the body of a fisherman. You should take a look at it. Where were the bandits again? They have a sort of fortress with many outposts in the east. To get to them, you'll have to cross the large swamp. Where did you see the pirates? They were running around not too far to the west of here. I think they were hunting. Is there a map of this area? Kronos has made one. He will surely let you have it. Can you teach me your skills? I can instruct you in the art of alchemy, and I can show you how to teach your will of the wisp to search for objects. Hey! Any new findings? The builders of these ruins fascinate me. It is just too bad that their language is as dead as they are. Even their mighty rituals and summonings could not save them. Summonings? 
The builders had a strong connection to the spirit world. If I have understood correctly, they believe they were in constant contact with their ancestors. They held regular summonings and rituals to ask the spirits for advice or to gain enlightenment. The undead that I know never had much to say. The Builders did not create soulless undead such as zombies or other evil creatures. These spirits were the souls of great warriors, priests, and rulers. So far, I have no doubt that they really exist. How did these spirit summonings work? The Guardians of the Dead had their special formulas they used to pacify the spirits. The descriptions I could find here, however, are in part very confusing. Only rarely do I get a clear answer to my questions. If I see a spirit, I'll let you know. <laughs> yes, I insist on it. How's it going? Listen, curious, don't you think? Mm. These teleporter stones don't appear to function, and yet you can hear them hum. Although they aren't active, a certain energy rests in them nevertheless. What do you think needs to be done to activate them? I have an idea about that. I just need proof for my suspicion. I had a feeling days ago that I had seen this sort of construction somewhere before. I suspect that we have to supply them with a damn large amount of magical energy to get them back into service. What could provide enough magical energy? I can only think of one thing. A magical focus. I mean, one of the five focus stones that were used to create the magical barrier in the Valley of the Mines. As far as I know, you had to get them back for us a while ago. Yes, I can remember. Where are the focus stones now? They were entrusted to me. I am supposed to keep them safe until we find another use for them. The way it looks, the time is ripe now. You said you need proof for your suspicion. A magical focus should be connected to these stones, but I don't know where. How do these teleporter stones get their power? The builders were a very highly developed people. They use properties of magic that we have never seen. A network of teleporter stones was built so the builders could move quickly from one place in the city to another. The stones here obviously form a kind of center. I've heard enough. Give me a focus stone. I will try to get the teleporters to work. All right, but be careful with it, you hear? Satyrus will have my head if we lose them. Can you teach me your magic skills? I can show you how to increase your magic power. Nothing to be had there.
I've activated one of the teleporter stones. I can see that. So I was right. I have talked to the others about it. We want you to try to activate all the teleporter stones. It would be a great help in our investigations if we could move quickly from one part of the city to another. Here is another focus stone. Activate them all if you can. I'll try. I think I've found something.
Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to plunder. I think I've found something. Nothing there. Nothing there.
I think I've found something. Nothing there. Nothing to plunder. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing there.
Nothing there. Nothing there. I've activated another one of the teleporter stones. Give me the next focus. Of course. Here it is. Was it difficult? Depends on how you look at it. I could use a bit of support. I could give you some gold. Would that help? It couldn't hurt. Let's see. Here are a few gold coins. Oh, by the way, before I forget, Saturas would like to talk to you. You should see him as soon as possible. It is good you came. We have new discoveries that we must share with you. Then let's hear it. The sunken city once bore the name of Jarkandar. There were five rulers in the city who shared the power over their people. Each of these rulers had a mansion where he lived and kept his belongings. Therefore, in your search for the relics of the ancient culture, it is crucial that you should search through these mansions. Where should I look for these mansions? Riordan has studied the structure of the buildings in Jarkandar. He will tell you where you should look for the mansions. What if these mansions no longer exist? If you cannot find the houses, then they presumably sank with the city. However, should they still exist, they would be of inestimable value for our studies. I found Lance's body. May his soul enter the realm of Adonos. Be careful, my son. I do not want to mourn another such loss. I have Lance's aquamarine ring here. You had better give it to me so it does not fall into the wrong hands. 
About the relics, I think I have something here for you. We already know this sort of stone tablet. They'll not get us any further now. There must be more than that. What about this? That looks good. Where'd you find that? This thing was lying in a building near the Great Swamp. That would have been the House of the Healers. We don't know much about them. They seem to have been the first to disappear. Very good. The image of this city is becoming clearer, but we still don't know enough. In all, there must be five of this sort of stone tablet hidden around here. Find them and bring them to me. Here is some gold as a reward. I'll see whether I can find anything. Good, but hurry. Time is not our ally. Why do you need these five stone tablets? The records which we have been able to find in this ruin are incomplete. But the writings of the builders speak of five rulers who ruled this city. Each of these rulers had one of these tablets as a symbol of his power. I think these tablets are the key to our questions. May Adonos protect you. Hey, you! Let's deal. Teach me that language. We'll start with something easy. To begin with, I can teach you the language of the peasants. As a rule, texts written in the language of the peasants deal with worldly matters such as work, love, or obtaining food. It was the common language of the city. You will be able to understand most of the text found here if you know it. Go and test your new knowledge. You will see that the scriptures of the Builders are no longer an unsolvable mystery for you. Sachira sent me. I'm supposed to search through the five mansions of Jarkandar. It took me a long time to find the location of the mansions and the writings of the builders, but now I can tell you exactly. Where do I find the five mansions? The House of the Scholars is a large library. It must be somewhere far to the north. The House of the Warriors was a fortress ringed by rocks in the east. The priests and guardians of the dead had their dwellings near each other. You should find them in the southwest, and the healers have their house of convalescence in the southeast. If these houses are still standing, you'll recognize them from their method of construction. They are elevated. A steep stairway leads to the entrance covered by high columns. Teach me the art of brewing potions. And what do you want to brew? Uh, about the mansions? Yes. The House of the Healers is in the middle of the swampy area and is defended by many stone sentinels. So it is still standing? Yes, but I wonder for how much longer. It pains my soul to see the witnesses of the past in this dilapidated condition. <laughs> 